Glory be to God. Welcome to D. Weaver Art here on YouTube. I give glory and praise to God that you choose to watch this channel. Today I'd like to share with you a special video with Captain Rich Ender, the owner of the Chinese junk ship. Later in the video I'll be sharing with you a painting of the ship that I did in plein air. Rich is a former United States Marine Sergeant, linebacker, and retired computer business owner. Now, if you're new to the D. Weaver Art Channel, I urge you to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit the notification bell in which you will receive instant alerts on new content and material. Now, with that being said, please watch and enjoy this video. First, I want to thank you for being in this world because it's kind of funny how they say we're all connected. But we are. Here you are. I bought this boat. If I want to bought this boat. So I got this boat. Um, at a marina, top of the Mississippi River, right below lock number two at uh, this crime marina, it's uh, Prescott, Wisconsin. So after I, after I got it, um, the marina owner brought me those papers you're looking at there. And I started boating in the early 2000s, but uh, so anyway, this is a 67 Chinese junk built in Hong Kong, 67 for a lady that lives in New York and when she was growing up her parents were friends of uh, Robert Ripley and she remembered as it states in these articles that he gave me after I got the boat um, she remembered that and um, um, yeah so it's uh, kind of cool those uh, articles some some of them are that's the New York Times and some of the other ones that are out of a different magazine. But anyway, she always remembered that as a child going on Robert Ripley's uh, sailboat. You know, it was a, a fishing junk. I mean, you can look it up on the internet. Uh, it's 50 foot Chinese junk fishing. They have a round belly to them. But this thing was abandoned, and after she died, it went here and there around yep. the United States, or whatever. But it was in um, um, New York. How it got to the top of Mississippi, not sure. It came in on our, on a truck, but it sat there for over six years on um, on the hard, which means it's up on blocks and stuff. And um, after they um, the guy that owned it, something happened, and anyway, the marina got it and uh, put it up for sale. But nobody wanted it because it was wood, but the boat's made out of teak, which is incredibly hard wood. It's filled with oil, and this stuff. You can't hammer teak or even screw into it. Uh, you need to, you have to uh, drill it. But it's just uh, incredibly durable wood. So I spent about three months. I got it in 2020, around April 2020. Spent about three months getting it back together. The masts were off and the sails were off and it was all tore apart in pieces. And just the main boat, but it had a uh, rebuilt engine and stuff on it. So that was cool. I was up there for, oh, three months, four months, I guess, back and forth, but uh, October of 2020, they uh, were getting ready to pull the boats out because everything freezes up there, getting ready to pull the boats out of the water, and they basically said, hey, you need to get into water and out of here before it freezes, or you're going to be landlocked for nine months, you know, during the winter and stuff, which that's what it's like up there, not a lot of good weather time, so. We took off, my cousin and I went for a week, and then um, he uh, got off in Iowa, and then my son came with me for three weeks. So that was kind of fun, had a good time. So we got down here, um, November 2020, and I was uh, gonna stay for 30 days, and that was a year and a half ago. <laughs> so but this is a great marina here, uh, Florence Harbor. I meant to, everybody that's here, I mean, it's a, friendly people I mean look at I met you a lot of people you know like going around here in McFarland Park and stuff like that but I started boating the first boat I got was in a, an old Chris Craft because I love fixing stuff and uh, it was old wooden Chris Craft and I got it up here on Wilson Lake uh, up on Shoals Creek in a little marina called Emerald Breach Marina it's, it's gone now but you know that's when I kind of started so I knew the area around here and there I am. Put a lot of time and effort in it and didn't expect to do it for 
anybody else just looked at one of those things and kind of got tired in life saying, I wish I would have. That's what I said. That's why I got these calluses on my knees. Doctor said, yet your knees replaced after climbing poles 25 years. Never get on your knees again. He was wrong. That's why they're callous. You can't have a boat without crawling on your knees down in the engine room or something, you know. But, uh, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Gotta love it. And here you are up on the, up on the shore the other day and we met you. And now the world is open to us. It's all you. you that's amazing. We got on looked at. You know, I'm just like, but this is a kind of interesting. Um, the old guy, the gals passed away and came over. Nobody knows how it got here, but it's here. And I, I think they could have sailed it over here as I mean, possible. Look what Christopher Columbus and everything did. The Chinese junk is a, a work boat in China. It really wasn't made for as a pleasure craft, but it's been converted in to make it comfortable, you know. So that's what you have to do. Back already. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something good out of it. Let me know what you think by leaving a comment. Also, don't forget to hit the like button. You can follow me on Instagram and Facebook at the letter D Weaver Art. Thank you so much. God bless you. See you next time.